Hey everyone, exactly two months after the election results when the market tanked brutally, there was again a sharp correction today on 5th of August where Nifty index tanked 2.7%, Nifty mid cap is down 3.6% and Nifty small cap is down 4.2%. Such corrections always remind me of quote from Mr. Vijay Kiriya sir who says that Rome was not built in a day but Hiroshima and Nagasaki were destroyed in a day. This is so true because market takes a good time to generate returns but corrections are very sharp that wipe out many days and weeks of gain in a single day. Now here the question is, what is the reason behind brutal correction in the markets today? But I think that the more important question here you should ask is, is it a one-off event or is there more pain ahead for the Indian market? So the answer for the first question is simple. This correction is due to weakness in global market. Actually on Friday, US job report for July month got published that has shown sharp slowdown in US job growth with unemployment rate at 4.3%. The problem is that data says that hiring in the US has slowed down for the third state month and this created a slowdown in the US economic growth. On the other side, US stock market jumped in the last few months in anticipation of rate cuts. So US stock market has already priced in the rate cuts. But in the latest meeting, US Fed has kept the interest rate unchanged. So no rate cuts followed with sharp slowdown in US job growth created negative sentiments in the US market. For instance, after 22% jump, Nasdaq has already tanked 10% and that negativity has trickled down in every stock market of the world. In fact, Japanese stock market is facing even brutal correction. Its index Nikkei 225 has tanked 12.5% in a single day today and nearly 25% correction in last one month. So in addition to weak US market, Japan is also facing another problem. Their currency yen has appreciated against US dollar by 10% in last three weeks. The catch is that a lot of traders borrow money in Japan where they get the money at near 0% interest rate and then they invest that money in other markets like US. And Japan bank has increased the interest rate to 0.25% after 2007. And yen has appreciated against dollar. So due to sharp fall of dollar against yen, traders had to cut down their trading position and book losses as now they also have to pay interest to the Japanese bank. And that is also a reason for fall in global market including US. But more than today's correction, the key question is, is it a one-off event in Indian stock market or is there more pain ahead? So obviously nobody can say anything with 100% confidence. We would need to wait for a few days to watch the trend in the market. But all I can say is that there is an excellent opportunity created in the Indian market after two months of one-way rally post-election. Markets were overheated and this correction is important to keep the sanity in the market. I think another 5-7% correction at index level would generate a good value for investors. Many individual stocks have already fallen between 5-15% to and if this trend continues for next few days, there will be excellent buying opportunity. For now, let's wait and watch. As a long-term investor, I always look at these corrections as an opportunity rather than panic because these corrections only create buying opportunity. I'm also keeping a close eye on the quarter results that I also share with my weekly video series and will soon share some stock ideas with you all where the results are excellent and there's some level of valuation comfort. For now, all I would say is there's no need to panic. Markets never give linear return. In last one year, there's a one-way rally with nearly 40-50% kind of return. So 10-15% correction is always healthy for the market. I believe that structurally, the story for India is 100% intact. So always try to look at the bigger picture. Yes, there are a few sectors and individual stocks that are extremely overheated that can be avoided. So keep an eye on valuation as compared to growth to identify good opportunity. Let me not stress this video. The only message I want to pass on is, if you want to create wealth in stock market, it can be done via investing in fundamentally strong company and more important, remain invested especially during the difficult time. Market would continue to test your patience and conviction and only those who can hold on to their nerves will emerge as winner. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next video. Till then, take care.